Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another Wyman video. So today we're doing a couple little updates on the Ender. Um, I'm going to do a, a parts cooler here and um, I, I just wanted to have a talk about uh, you know how to do this and um, it, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, it, it might seem a little daunting but uh, it, it's really not too bad. Um, so basically what I got going on here is I got a 40 mil, uh, 40 mil fan off of, um, I think I got it off of Rep Rap, Rep Rap Champions. Um, you can find them on, on, uh, uh, Amazon, uh, Fry's, uh, just about anywhere. But I, I just picked this one up off of, uh, off of Rep Rap. Um, it, I, I took in and cut the plug off and soldered some extra wire on here and I'm gonna run it through the factory sheathing I've seen a lot of guys take and just zip tie another fan wire on there and run it down and, and I'm not a big fan of that uh, I want it to look I want it to look nice and neat and tidy so I just you know I kind of pulled this stuff back and I ran it down and then I soldered a plug on and I actually soldered back on the plug that I cut off of it and then what you want to do is you want to run it right down inside of here and then on the board for the parts fan the board let's see focus focus please focus focus eh, not gonna focus anyway you might be able to catch it there there's a yeah there's a spot for the laser because uh, I guess you can put a laser on this thing um, and then right there it says K dash fan. So that's where you want to plug that guy in. If you're going to run a parts cooling fan on an ender, that's where you want to plug that guy in. Okay. Then when you go in your slicer and set your fan speeds, your parts cooling fan, which is actually going to blow down through here and blow across your parts. Now that's when you set your fan speed in, uh, in your slicer. That's what's going to control this guy now on that, on that K fan. Okay. And so what I did is I, I ran this all up through the factory sheathing. So it's going to run with all the factory wiring. It's going to look nice and neat and tidy. And then what I've done is because I needed to move this fan off of the, off of the stock location and I needed to run the wiring through the inside of them here. Rather than cut the wires and splice it back together and have a joint in there, what I did is I took this little guy here. This is the plug, the factory plug on there. Okay. And uh, I marked it. You can see I marked which side is the ground side with a black little mark. And then <clears throat> the ends of it are these little guys here. Now... This is going to be really tough to see, but there's just a little teeny tiny tab, locking tab. Let's see if I can get it right there, right at the top of it there. And that little teeny tiny tab slides in and then sticks up through these slots in this guy. So what you want to do is you want to lock this guy down in a vise or or uh, however you need to do it. Lock it down uh, so that you can still pull on the wire and you're gonna pull, you're gonna push forward on the wire, you're gonna press that pin down with a Zacto knife or uh, uh, some sort of really small pick tool and then just kind of jiggle it back a little bit and then it'll slide out, okay? And then for reassembly, you just plug them back in. Um, it's pretty simple. So I, I just wanted to go through that right quick um, for people that maybe have never done this before and, um, you know, are, are thinking that they, they want to put a parts fan on, on their Ender or, or any, uh, printer, uh, that doesn't already have one. If you want to update your CR10, um, you know, this is, this is a great way to do it. Uh, the reason I did it is because I've been noticing some warping in this guy and I believe it has to do with the fact that it doesn't have a parts fan and, um, I mean, you can see it pretty badly there. Um, so I'm going to do this and I'm going to try it out and see how it works. 
and uh, I'll post an update. And uh, until next time, hey, keep making cool stuff. <laughs>